the truth is something people fear more than anything in the world. One of the key terms we hear on social media, and again, this is linked to the holistic movement, is narcissists. Everybody is a narcissist. Everybody is full of narcissism. But you see, the idea of the word narcissist is important. A narcissistic personality disorder is a mental health condition. It's where people have an unreasonable high sense of their own importance. So when we just talked about the sycophants, when we talked about users, it is the narcissistic traits of, of the people who do this is very apparent. And it's all linked to ego. The need and seek too much attention want people to admire them. You see, if you're going on a spirituality journey, people would actually trust what you do because they see that the proof is in the pudding. They don't need to have too much attention and they don't have, people, they don't have to have people admire them. See, people with a disorder of narcissism disorder may lack the ability to understand or care about the feeling of others, which is total contradictory to the idea of being a holistic practitioner. And it's also very interesting that the idea of most people don't actually know where the word narcissistic or narcissist comes from. So narcissus was actually a god. And the idea of the narcissus died by a Paul gazing at his own reflection that he fell in love with. He had no concern about anything around him, nor does he eat or sleep. And he takes his lying die, last dying breath by himself and dies by the image that he will never have but so badly desires. And this is a massive thing to think about in social media because in the social media gaze and the media gaze, the idea that people will go to extreme lengths to be admired and cared for is a psychological problem. And we do have people who actually are addicted to the idea of posts, to being followed, to being liked, because it creates endorphins. So the idea is when we're looking at the word narcissism, and we're looking at narcissistic behaviour, we have to look at where that comes from because it's usually linked to trauma in childhood where someone hasn't got attention. And because they haven't got the attention or admiration they want, they then learn to cut off their feelings and then wish people to follow them. Something to be wary of. The truth is something people fear more than anything in the world.